And last but certainly not least, why we all work hard every single day, we have two students to come and speak with us. Kishore and Amy, I'd like you to come forward. In 1990, a group of dedicated students and educators saw a need for enhancing student leadership in British Columbia. The BC Principals and Vice Principals Association, with the support of the Ministry of Education, assisted the group in launching a concept called BC Student Voice. Since then, the voice has grown to represent all regions across the province. Kishore and Amy are representatives of the Student Voice from Richmond School District. So I am so excited that for them to be here tonight and for you to hear them speak. So good evening, everyone. Um, we are honored to be speaking today here at the BCS TA Sector Leaders Speaker Series. My name is Amy. And my name is Kishore. And we are here to talk about student voice in BC. Okay, so now we're just going to do a little introduction to everyone to give an idea of where we come from and where we stand in the public education system. So I'm a grade 12 student at McMath Secondary and I'm heavily involved in Interact and Rotary and in financial literacy for youth programs in the community. And so my name is Kishore. I am a grade 11 student at J. M. Burnett Secondary School in Richmond as well. Uh, I'm part of many different community organizations and I love working in my community. I'm part of many clubs. And some of my core values are leadership, ambition, adaptivity, and selflessness. So uh, the first reason we just, again, you got a background as to what Student Voice is. Uh, it's a big conference. We, both of us have been twice. So this is going to be when we go back in May. It'll be our fourth time going to the conference. And it's usually held in the Lower Mainland. And you get students coming from all across BC to share their opinion. Uh, another, this is, we're just kind of talking about reasons why the student voice is important right now. This is kind of our big theme of our presentation. Uh, it's also the growth of student representation in the modern world. So as we look uh, right now, uh, a lot of our political leaders have youth councils or youth representatives working with them to kind of uh, form their ideas and basis. And we also have a lot more students interested in going into politics. So that's, again, looking at the political impact. So I, I know so many uh, friends of mine or people from across the district, across Canada, who are interested in going into politics just because that's what they think they can do with their lives and that's what they want to do. They're fueled by that passion of sharing their voice. And we know public ed education is a very broad topic, so we focused our presentation today to focus on three very um, frequently asked questions, which are how does a strong public education make a difference to you? How can we change the curriculum to make students more prepared for the workforce? And how has public education personally impacted me? So our first point to kind of answer how the public education system makes a difference in students' lives is that it affects our growth and de development as uh, young adults in society. So the impact of a teacher is huge. I mean, like I have had teachers who have kind of changed the way I look at the world. Like, that's what, that's what a teacher's job is to do, is to change your perception and to challenge your morals and your choices and your values in life. And so that's, again, one of the big things. Another thing is also uh, building school communities to build Canadian communities. So by cultivating a love for community in your schools, you have students who graduate with a love for their own communities who will go on to serve in their communities and who will go on to pursue serving. So that's kind of another reason why the political... Um, Sorry, not political. The education system is important. So uh, we both had teachers who have uh, changed the way we look at, uh, sorry, <laughs> changed the way we perceive this world. And I've had teachers who have helped shape my values. And we both have a shared teacher who's not even a teacher, but she's a, uh, she helps out at the district. And she's both changed our views as well. Mm -hmm. So overall, it's just uh, looking at growth and development and how we develop um, a love for serving in the community. And now we're going to move on to skills that we think uh, employers are always on employers' mind when they're hiring. So um, these skills would be useful to students to um, help them become more prepared for the workforce. And first one is teamwork. And they learn significance of group work. And um, that's always important for the workforce. And they could do this with controlled group work where members are held accountable. So you always hear of these group projects where people don't do what they're supposed to, and um, by controlling and keeping people accountable, that's how we're going to 
help people. <laughs> and communication. So this is key to effective and efficient work in the workplace. And we can do this through more discussion-based work done in class. I find it's more um, interactive and helps me learn more in a classroom setting. And the third one is leadership. And this is important for innovation and efficiency in the workforce, which is also very, very important if you want to move up. And we can do this through offering opportunities opportunities to lead or participate in community initiatives and projects. I know there are a lot of these available to students, but um, many people don't know about them. And so our basic idea for this section is emphasizing more on fundamental skills required in the workplace will prepare students better after school. And now I'm just going to talk about my experiences. So um, I used to be a shy student and it was my leadership teacher who really inspired me to jump out of my comfort zone and help me be proactive and set goals in pursuit of excellence. And this, is ha this has led me to um, actively look out for opportunities like these um, where I get to contribute to my community in, in ways that I'm passionate about, which are financial literacy and um, helping the community. So looking at uh, what what impact uh, I've had is looking at, sorry, <laughs> my teachers have really changed my perception of the world. I've had many teachers who have questioned me so many times that I really have broken me down to kind of what my core values are, and I think that's really helped me a lot, and that's helped me realize that what I want to do in life is pursue, uh, to continue a constant pursuit of leadership. And so that's really helped me a lot, and also looking at Throughout many different experiences, whether it's been doing an incentive program at school, doing extracurricular activities led by teachers led by students, sponsored by teachers, I've gained so many skills, and I think I can use these skills forever in life, and that's overall why I think it's very important for teachers and the school education system to focus on what we talked about. And now, thanks for listening to our presentation. We just want to leave you with this one question. So what is one thing you wish you learned in high school? And so our overall idea that we really want you guys to take away from this, our presentation, is that the student voice matters.